Bury the Hatchet is a RPG maker horror game similar to the Coffin of Andy and Lele series. The game starts off with a 20 year old something girl trying to get a gas station cashier's attention who seems to be deep in her thoughts. With the way they are dressed we get to know that the game takes place during Halloween. The girl is very annoying in speech and asks the attendant to get her a drink. The attendant does so but the girl complains that it's not one of those special edition drinks called Special Idol Shine. The attendant says that they are out of those brands but the girl insists to go find it inside the storage room as it is one of the most popular drinks in the area. The attendant reluctantly complies and goes to the back room to find the drink. The room is filled with bear traps and blood smears on the floor and a body can be seen behind a shelf. The attendant gets no reaction to the scene whatsoever showing that she is the one who killed that person. The drinks are lying just in front of the dead person's face showing that the attendant also does not care of hygiene in storage units. She grabs the drinks and sells them to the annoying girl who leaves. The attendant then goes over to clean up the mess in the back room by placing boxes in front of the body to hide it, which are not doing a good job. The attendant also takes off her mask to breathe better but she gets caught by the same annoying girl again who walks it back in into the room without permission seeing the attendant's face as well as the dead body who she seems to recognize as Courtney. The attendant then gets ready to kill the annoying girl but gets surprised when she finds out that the annoying girl is in fact beyond annoying because she is actually a fan of hers. So apparently the gas station attendant is a serial killer who have murdered countless people and used a hatchet to murder them earning her the name of Bear Water Grizzly Killer. After the formalities, the grizzly killer decides to let the girl live who is named Pearl and offers to help her clean up the dead body while she goes to attend customers who, if you don't attend, then end up calling the manager who ends up calling the police and the murderer gets arrested and it's game over. So Pearl goes to clean up the mess while Grizzly goes to attend customers. After a few customers come and go, someone important to the story shows up. You can tell that because he does not have the generic model for the other customers. The customer turns out to be Brandon, who is the dead girl's boyfriend who is there to buy chocolates for her. He almost notices her blood but decides to scoff it off and leave. The Grizzler then asks Pearl some stuff about Courtney and gets to chopping her up to hide her body all while Pearl annoys her by talking about how she is an abandoned stuff and asks how she feel about her lyrics. She finishes chopping Courtney up and tells Pearl about using her guitar case as a way to store it before going back to attend the customers. Brandon shows up again crying about not finding Courtney and wants to return the open boxes of chocolate that he bought before. Their conversation is interrupted when Pearl storms out of the back room and starts mocking Brandon and almost reveals about Courtney's dead body before being stopped by the Grizzler herself, who scorns Pearl and then goes back to working on hiding the body as well as setting up bear traps to prevent anyone from going near it. While setting the bear traps up, Pearl offers a place in her band to the Grizzler but she says no and then goes back to attending to more customers while Pearl sets up the bear traps. The Grizzler hears a loud thud and goes to the back room to find Pearl emotional and distraught and talks with her and both bond. It's kind of wholesome. But the talk is interrupted by a bell on the counter and the Grizzler goes to attend to the customer only to find Brandon there looking for Pearl. The Grizzler lies about her but he hears her in the back room and storms in and to his horror he finds Courtney's dead body. Brandon panics and tries to run away but the Grizzler stabs him and he barely manages to enter a secret room. Brandon then takes the Grizzler's hatchet that is lying next to him and takes Pearl hostage. From here, three endings are obtainable depending on your choices. In the first one, you end up provoking Brandon into killing Pearl and then you kill Brandon himself. 
The screen cuts to black and it shows that the Grizzler is being interviewed by an employer for a job and the interviewer is asking questions about her previous place and how the three people went missing, most notably Courtney, Pearl and Brandon. In the second ending, you hand over the keys to the exit and when Brandon picks it up, the Grizzler kills him but ends up being trapped in one of the bear traps. She urges Pearl to leave without her and as the screen cuts to black, a newspaper clipping can be seen that the Grizzler has been arrested and here you can see that the game takes place in the 90s judging from the date on the newspaper. The third and final ending shows that Pearl pushes Brandon into the bear trap and lights the whole store on fire with the Grizzler. The Grizzler then ends up joining the band and can be seen performing with Pearl in the ending. And this is the happy ending. The game is very similar to the ending in Lele games, with the only difference being that the main characters are not related to one another and both are girls. Even though one of them does not seem like one. And also they don't end up eating their victims. The artwork and gameplay is also very good and the story in it itself was just good enough to grab the player's attention. Overall, it's a really good game.